I find it quite interesting that I think the second night at the museum, Battle of the Smithsonian, is actually the weakest link. The first film is amazing. The third film, which is set at the British Museum, is sensational. This film I enjoyed. I thought it was a worthy sequel. But then when I saw the third film, however many years later, I feel like five, four years later, five years later, I thought that was even more phenomenal. So actually, it's a bit of a weak link in the grand scheme of things. But nevertheless, I still really enjoy this film. It was released in 2009, directed by Sean Levy. And of course, we have Ben Stiller playing Larry Daly. And we have Owen Wilson and Steve Coogan as Jedediah and Octavius. And Jedediah and Octavius have actually been accidentally shipped to the Smithsonian. And Larry Daly takes it upon himself to go and rescue Jedediah and Octavius. And because we're having this set in a different museum, straight away it meant there was room for a lot more creativity, new characters they could incorporate. And I honestly think it's fabulous. One of our main characters in this one is actually Amelia Earhart, played by Amy Adams. And I'm trying to think back to whether or not this would have been my introduction to Amelia Earhart as a character, as a person. It may well have been. I'm not 100% sure on the fact. But it's certainly very interesting to have a, a version of Amelia Earhart coming to life when we don't even know where Amelia Earhart is. I'm very fast. It's one of my favourite mysteries, if you like. Um, and I think Amy Adams, who I love, um, did a fantastic job with the character. We have so many amazing characters and cast in this. Um, Hank Azaria, my personal favourite, Robin Williams, who also appears as Teddy Roosevelt. Um, Ricky Gervais, Bill Hader. Really strong cast. Um, great mix of characters. The change of setting works very well. Had the had it been set in the same location as the first film, it wouldn't have dampened the experience because I think it's still such a unique, exciting concept, which if you're unaware of what it's about, the artefacts in the museum all come to life after dark. And that means history literally comes to life. And Larry Daly is a security guard. And this one, as with the others, involves the tablet, um, which obviously brings people to life. And I think as a sequel, it's very worthy. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Fantastic cast, brilliant characters, some amazing bits of cinematography. Um, it's just, it's funny, it's engaging, it's entertaining. But as I said, once I watched the third one, I felt like this one maybe wasn't as good as it could have been because the third one for me is a much more worthy sequel but nevertheless it's still amazing I can't I can't judge this one based on the quality of the third one because that's not fair but obviously it's also impossible to not compare the two but I thought it was absolutely fabulous it's entertaining it's engaging it's very well edited brilliantly done fabulously acted a great narrative with a fabulous execution it is, I believe, my least favourite of the three. Um, what will be said of the TV series that is apparently in development for Disney+, Plus? who knows. But in terms of the films, I think Battle of the Smithsonian is my least favourite, but I still absolutely adore it. If you've never seen it, do give it a watch. I'd say watch them in order of release, just because it's, it's better to follow... The development that way and also Larry Daly's got a son so you can follow the progression of their relationship um, which is a nice little subplot there I really adored it um, definitely a favourite film of mine film series of mine at least um, something I will always hold in high regard even though it's not my favourite in the series <laughs>